Hi guys, good to have you all back. It is Monday, so let's get back into crafting. I am yet again surrounded by my 6x6 cheap paper pads because I've come up with another idea. If you've missed the last video where I used all my lovely 6x6, um, well, single-sided paper pads, uh, I'm going to link that video below. It's very beginner-friendly. So if you're a beginner and you have invested, and don't invest in this much, in a 6x6 cheap paper pads, that's a perfect video for you. But the video for today, I'm just going to make one project. Yes, um, I have made this project before, but with larger pieces of paper. And now I'm just going to use my 6x6. Yeah? Okay. Um, I'm going to sort of tell you what I'm doing. And show you the supplies that I'm using for today's project. This is the idea. I'm going to make a tag with seven pockets. How many? Seven. Yes, seven pockets. How many pieces of paper are you going to use? Two. Just, just two. Yes. Well, basically, um, maybe three because I also want to make some uh, tabs. I want to make some tabs, but maybe you already have tabs or, you know. So I'm probably going to use three pieces of paper. Uh, to make uh, a seven pocket tag. If you are going to glue the tag down in your um, journal, it's going to be an eight pocket. <laughs> so two pieces, seven or eight pockets, right? Okay, now what am I using? The supplies. Obviously, six by six uh, pieces of paper, but you can do this with eight by eight, ten by ten even bigger they don't even need to be a uh, sort of a square you can make them in a rectangle as well if you want to lovely so for the paper i'm using this i might use something else for the tabs i don't know i'm going to try to make the tabs also out of the six by six because i need to make a small dent in this yes now for the tools i'm going to use um the basics glue I want to use up my art glitter glue. You don't need art glitter glue for this, love. It's just, you know, I'm going to use this up. Um, scissors? Do you need scissors? You don't even need scissors. A circle punch. Why a circle punch? Because I want to make notches. So, not really necessary, but it would be handy if you have a circle punch. I'm probably going to use my corner rounder. Also not necessary. You know, scissors. Um, there's going to be one fold. You don't need a scoreboard for making the fold. I rather like my scoreboard for making a fold. You can just make a fold by hand, lobbies. Okay, now, um, I'm going to use this, but you don't need this, guys. I have this set. Um, just write it down. Go, go, craft, MK001. I, I believe you can find these on Amazon or something. These are whale tail tap dies that I bought a gazillion years ago. Well, not that long ago, but... I love them. I love them. I really do. Uh, but maybe you have a tap punch or or the real whale tail tap punch from We Are Memory Keepers, or is it? I, I believe so. So, uh, because I want to make taps. Now, if you don't have a tap making device, but you do have a circle punch, you could also use this or, or make your own taps. Make your own taps, guys. I also have a video on making um, your own taps. From just paper, which is lovely. Or small little um, tags. Anything. Be creative. Be creative. Because I want to make uh, tabs in here. Now, for decorating, probably going to do some inking. Maybe some stamping. I don't know yet. And uh, some bits and bobs. Let's see how far we'll get. Is that it? I think so. I think so, guys. Um, let's start with making my seven pocket, two sheet, six by six wonder. Let's go. I have picked out four uh, sheets because I want to make two of these tags, yes. And already from one sheet I made, um, well, these are actually nine, uh, my whale tail tap thingies, yes. Very muted, sort of grungy, with writing, thought it might look nice. So I did sort of put them together. Now, guys, let me show you. I'm doing this in a sort of a grungy, vintage style, but I was also debating if i wanted to do it cutesy like with these yeah oh that lovely it's so lovely but um you know i'm gonna do grungy but you could do these with with lovely cute pink floral papers yeah okay um starting out with these with a sort of greenish one um i am going to make a fold 
just on one side of the paper. I'm going to flip it over. On one, just on one side of the paper. I am going to make it uh, 3 eighths of an inch. Yeah, but you could do it a quarter inch or half an inch, whatever you want. Just a small sort of fold, just on one side. So I'm using I'm using six by six, and then I'm scoring at three eighths of an inch, and I'm just going to fold it in. Like so, to have sort of a, a hingey thingy. Yeah, I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. But you know, don't need a scoreboard, guys. Just fold a, li a little piece in. Just fold a little piece in. There you go. Perfect. Now, we fold this up all the way to the other side. Yes. Have it flush. That'll be nice. There you go. Lovely, lovely. Yes, also with the other one. It's going to be very simple, lovies. Yes, it is. Yep. Perfect. Yes. Uh, glue. Glue. Simple. Very simple. <laughs> I'm just going to glue these in. Now, why did I make the fold? It gives a little bit more room um, in the pocket. Come on, Art. I know there's still something, something left in here. I'm making this. It, it actually, is it necessary? You could just fold it in and glue it. Um, but I just like um, the edge that it gives. It just gives a nicer finish. Finish, in my opinion. See, there's more glue in here. Because this is sort of a folded edge, yes? Because we fold here. And now this also sort of looks like a folded edge. Just it's uh well, it just looks nicer. Just looks nicer. And it's just one simple step in between. There we go. Now I'm using art glitter glue because I want to finish the bottle, but by all means use glue stick. Use glue stick, lovies. Yes. Well, they should be the same size. They are because, you know, we started with 6x6 six six and we just made a score of 3 eighths of an inch. So be sure that the folds that you're going to make, yes, the first fold, are the same size. So don't do one in, in 3 quarter inch and one and a half an inch or, or what have you. Because they need to be the exact same size. Next step, I'm going to fold these in, but not in the middle. Yeah. Now, this is not directional. This is directional. Um, there are going to be one, two, three, four pockets. Four pockets. I want this one to go here on the, on the lowest part. Yeah. So I'm going to flip this one over. Yes. And sort of fold it up. So this is going to be the lowest pocket. And this is going to be the top pocket. Does it make any sense? Yes. Now, these need to be in the middle. So I'm going to fold these in, not all the way to the top, but leave like three quarters of an inch, almost an inch, sort of like, yeah. I'm just going to put them in here and see if they have sort of equal spaces. So no real measuring, guys. Just, you know, make sure they're sort of equal spaces. See? Like so. Yes. So I'm just going to fold this down. Make sure it's straight. That'd be nice. There you go. Yes. And then this one. Was this the right measuring? Just eyeballing, guys. No real measuring involved in this part. Yes. Bone folder. Yep. Yep. Okay. Eventually, we're going to glue these down. 
See, this needs to be glued down to here, this to this one, and this to this one, which will make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets. Unless you glue it down, then it'll be eight. So we're already almost there. What I think I'll do, I'll put this aside and do it one more time. Yes, just in case you missed it, just in case you missed it. Probably not, but just in case. Three eighths of an inch or whatever size you want, lovies. This is really crooked because it moved. There you go. The other one as well. Yep. Folding it in. Yes. Folding it in again, this other one. Yep. Let's see if Art has, still has some glue left. Normally, if there was this little glue in a bottle, I'd just throw it out. But this is Art glitter glue. I don't know if you know, but this is expensive. Well, it's not really expensive uh, because it does last you a whole long, a long, long time. Yes. So uh, I have, I think I used 10 glue sticks on one of this, maybe even more, maybe even more. Yes. So, two new ones. Is there anything that I want to have flipped up? Mm, not really. Not really this one. Yes, probably this one. Yeah. Sort of same height. Just eyeballing this one and seeing, well, looks like the same. Yes. And then with this one. Oh, I really want this one on here. No, we're going to lose it. We're going to lose it either way. You're going to lose it either way. That's too bad. There was a date there. There's a little bit more room here between here and here, so I am going to refold it. <laughs> That's okay. You won't see this uh, extra fold here because it's going to be in the pocket. See? Ooh, lovely. Lovely. Okay. Now we have two. Now, before I glue them down, I want to make notches and maybe even round corners or snip some corners. Let's see. For the notches, I want to make notches only on the front pocket, so not on both of them. So the circle punch needs to go needs to go inside of the pocket. Now, thankfully, <laughs> it's it does still fit. Um, normally, I eyeball everything. I am not going to eyeball it because there are going to be four in a row, and I really want them to be in a straight line. Yeah, does that make any sense? Normally, I just eyeball it. So I just want to find the center. Uh, I'm going to do this on my mat. I'm going to leave enough room on each side and then use this dot and this dot as sort of a guideline. Now, taking out a ruler, lining this up. Yes. Taking out a pencil and then just making sort of a small circle. Not too low, uh, guys, because I want to make small notches. So not too low. So every piece has now sort of an in indication where I want the notch to be. Yes, so that is the middle. I am taking in uh, my circle punch and I am then sort of eyeballing where the middle is. See? This should, should be in the middle. Now, there is a sort of a line somewhere in this one. Oh, all the way on the top. 
I know there's a line in your circle punch that you can find in the middle. There's one. Two. Now hopefully they're sort of in the middle. I hope so. I'm just trying to. Let's see. How how did we do? Well. Are you proud? Well, I'm very proud. Very, very proud. Yes. I'm going to do the same to this one. The question is, do we want rounded corners? I think I do. I think I do. I'm um, using a smaller setting. Yeah, I think it just looks really cool. Now, not necessary at all, guys. This step, not necessary. Especially if you want to make this into a tag shape at the top. Then don't round the corners. And all of this before we glue it down, of course. Inking? You want to do inking? Yeah. I think I want to do some inking. Oh, see, yeah, that looks lovely. I'm just going to do all of them. Just going to do all of them. Why not? There you go. Oh, you're so quiet. Yes, I'm quiet. There you go. Yes. Yes. Lovely. What color are we using? I'm thinking frayed burlap, guys. Or maybe vintage photo. No, I'm going to go frayed burlap. Now, normally, I'd ink here on the inside because this is white. But the white is going to be covered up with the tabs. Yes. Very smart idea. All right, I'm just going to ink. All around. Especially the parts that are going to be glued down. So before gluing down, first inking. Now for the tabs, I folded all of them in, guys, and just ink them on, on just on one side, on the, on the top and a little bit over here. Now, if you don't have these tabs, I can imagine you don't have these tabs. Maybe you have the other tabs. Yes, just another tab punch. Or, or you just have your circle punch. Let me show you. Uh, the normal tab punch. See? Works really well. This one. Also, just have it stick out a little bit. Like so. See? Do contrasting colors, love. Um, because you're gonna if you're going to do sort of with the same color, uh, with the same paper, it'll just look weird. It will just look weird. So, maybe just a circle, or another tap punch, or a small little tag, or whatever. Whatever, guys. Whatever. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to attach these... Are we going to stamp something on it? I think so. I think so. Um, are you using art? Against my better judgment. Because I do want them to be in the middle. And let's see. Yes. Yes. 
it's way better to use glue stick on this. Why are you not using glue stick then? Because I want to finish art. I have a new bottle ready to go. <laughs> yep. You could do all different tabs. Well, different colors from different paper. But that, that would mean I would have to do a lot of die cutting to make them all from different papers. Yep. Last one. Do the right side, love, because I've only inked on one side. Lovely, right? It's so cool. Yeah, I like it. Like it. So, I'm going to do the other one as well. I think I'm going to do the decorating before I glue everything down. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still not gluing everything down. So, I want to put uh, some tiny stamps on the on the tabs. Yes, I've taken out Katty Holden. Um, well, this is actually Spellbinders, a Katty Holden edition. Flea Market Finds sign here. And I also have... Uh, reading matter maybe maybe don't know for sure but let's just see um for color yes no that'll be no surprise fallen leaves i'm just a small stamping block yes fallen leaves i have a small number here that says three something 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 there you go don't press too hard because these are juicy. I have not seen any re-inkers for um, the first of fine. Oh, love it. Love it. I have not seen any re-inkers for the first of fine inks. It might be that they are available, but I haven't seen them. I might have overlooked them, though. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do one on the other side as well. On the other pocket. That's too much ink, love. Just, you know, there. Cute, tiny little stamps. Yes. Style something. Oh, yep. Yep. And what else? Number 12 and a half. Okay. Yeah. Yes. One more. One more. One more, guys. This one. One, four, three. One, four, three. Totally different. It makes such a difference, guys. It does. Oh, we love them. We love them. We love them. Now, I have an idea. And this is just, you know, another step in the process. Doesn't really need it. Not at all. But I want to add some hardware. <laughs> I want to add some hardware. Yes. So I'm taking out some breads. Guys, this is not necessary. Just glue them down. But I want to add some brads first. Now, this is going to be fiddly because we already made the pockets up, of course. And I need to get in there to open the legs. And you know, it's a thing. But I'm, I am going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. Now, um, I'm going to punch some holes. Yes. And only on the top one, you'll see the legs on the outside. Or, no, the holes on the outside. The holes on the outside. Because I want to put the legs... Um, on the inside, and are you? You don't even need to put the legs on the inside if you don't want to. No. I'm going to punch it here. Here, yeah. I think I want to have the legs on the outside. That will save on a lot of time. 
I'm just going to put one in. And then see on what line I want to have the other one. I need to eyeball it. But I think here. Yes. Uh, what color did we use? Sort of the gold brassy one, right? Yeah. Okay. Now you could put this in here. I'm not going to. I'm just going to put it on the outside. Because you're not going to see it. This is all going to be glued down. I will have the legs from the top to the bottom, not from to the sides, because you, everything you put in here will catch um, on the legs. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you. Another one here. And it's so nice because this is sort of a wood pattern. Love it. Just love it. I'm just going to do one side on camera, guys. I'll do the other side off. Tell me this isn't, isn't gorgeous. I love it. Can you do the other side on this one as well? Yes, but in another color. I thought this was going to be a very simple sort of 6x6 easy tutorial. It is easy, but it looks spectacular. It's not even finished. It just looks amazing. Look at this. Guys, I've been thinking, maybe you don't have brats. But maybe you have a small stamp. Maybe the small star stamp from um, the eccentric set. Yes. Just put stamps on, on here or draw something. Or maybe you have these sort of nouveau drops thingies. You could do this or or maybe you have... Do I have those? Do I still have those? Like these flat pearls that you could use. Oh, no, put them somewhere else. Sort of put something on, on the corners that makes it look like, like you know, it's been sort of nailed in. <laughs> it's so cool. Now, I've taken out... Um, Two of the Tim Holtz, the tiny snippets ephemera pieces, yes. I aged these up, just grunged them and, you know, just going to put this one here, yes, with my glue. Just a little bit decorating. Um, you may also notice I did a little, I did a little bit more grunching because with the sort of brats on here, it needed more grunching. So, you know. I grunged a little bit more and then this one I'm gonna have over there. I decided to just have two on, not on all the all the pockets. That would be a little bit much. Well or not. Or put everything on every pocket. <laughs> Whatever you want, loves. Yes, and then this one also over there. There you go. Oh, now we're going to do the gluing. Okay, um, I'm taking the middle bit out. I'm just going to put glue here on the inside. Yes, small strip. And here. Maybe a little bit behind the brads. There you go. You could also do this with glue tape if you want to. Do whatever you want, lobbies. Yes. So now these are glued down. Now we're going to put glue here and here. Just on the sides. You don't need to do the bottoms, uh, bottoms guys. No. Not necessary. Put this flush against this bottom over here and make sure the sides they line up. Yes. And the last one 
here and here. Yep, want to see that again? Well, you're gonna. <laughs> okay, put glue here and here. There's a fold here, guys. That's where you put the glue. Yes. Very simple. And then glue all over this bit. Just the sides. You don't need to glue the bottom more. You can if you want to. If you really want to, you have my permission to glue the bottom, but it's not necessary. Nothing's going to fall out. Yes. Have it on straight, that'll be nice. And then the last piece. There you go. There you go. Are you ready for the end result? I am. Let's see. Love them. Love them. Let's count pockets, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. Let's say you have this as a standalone. You have one pocket here. One pocket behind here. It's two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And your pieces that you can put in here can be taller and taller and taller. Yes? So, seven pockets. Unless, and let me just take out Gunther for a second. Oh, have you seen this project? Oh, loved it. Oh, loved it so much. Let's see. Um, oh, let's do this page. Unless you decide to sort of stick it on here. Then you have seven pockets and eight the last i would have this as sort of a side talk so that you could put something in that'll that'll stick out yes a bigger piece like not this but see you can have it then like so i prefer this than to be just a top loading pocket again so yeah so yeah guys that's it i hope you enjoyed it take out your six by six your eight by eight ten by ten because this will work Guys, this will work on basically any size of uh, paper. Don't make them too small. I won't, uh, wouldn't go smaller than 6x6. Six six. Well, I would because challenge. <laughs> challenge. Oh, just I just love them. Isn't it great? Really love them. Now, this is the only uh, part that you see the brass. If you don't want to have the brass here because you want to have this as a standalone, then you'll have to open up the legs in between. Yes, well, I rather have the legs outside. Yeah, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really liked it. I am going to be back again uh, tomorrow with another video. Um, I am linking down below the brats and the stamp set that I have used from uh, Duoding because I know I'm going to have questions. Um, but the biggest questions is probably going to be what are the tap punches that you use? Well. One more time, Go Go Craft MK001. I don't know if they're still available, but you know, Google them. Just you know, see or or make your own lobbies. Make your own. Hopefully, I'll catch you on the next one. Until tomorrow, bye guys.